So uh, I've got Nathan here, and uh, Nathan, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, another way that we can uh, use the scripture to help us in our prayer, and that's through scripture memorization. And I know this has been a big deal for you, so when did you first start memorizing scripture, and why did you start? Yeah, I first began memorizing scripture about five years ago. I was going through a really difficult period of mental illness and anxiety. The illness had taken over my mind and my ability to think and have control over my own thoughts. It was a really difficult period and I didn't know what to do or where to turn. You know, I was trying as hard as I possibly could to follow after God, but it just didn't seem like anything I was doing was making any difference. At the time, I didn't know very much about the Bible, but I knew that in the book of James, the author talks somewhere about persevering under trial. So I looked up that passage and it just, it really spoke to me in just the situation that I was going through. I didn't really know what else to do. And so I just decided that I would try to start memorizing as much of the book of James as I could. Just by taking things one verse at a time, I would write them down and keep them in front of me throughout the day and just repeat it to myself over and over again. And eventually by doing that, I was able to memorize the book of James and then I did Ephesians and then 1 John and now I'm working on 1 Thessalonians. Right, and so, and that's incredible, but it's also daunting, right? Okay, so for those of us who are sitting here thinking, you know, I would love to make memorization part of my life, but I don't know where to start. Um, because, th you, know, I, you know, I'm not sure I can go that far or, or memorize that much or what they can do. And so could you give us some practical steps that can, that can help us get started for any of us? Yeah, absolutely. My first piece of advice would be to pick a verse or a passage that is really meaningful to you or one that speaks directly to a certain situation that you're going through. Maybe even take some time to pray about it and let God lead you to the passage that he wants you to learn. And when you try to start memorizing a passage, take it slow. It's okay if it takes you a few days or even a week to learn a single verse. You know, that's something that happens to me all the time. But I try to look at it this way. Even if it takes me one week to learn a single verse, well, that's one more verse than I knew before. You know, memorizing God's word will never be a waste of time. One thing that I've found really helpful is to write down a verse when I'm trying to learn it. That way, I can either keep it with me throughout the day or put it in a place where I spend a lot of time. Right now, I'm a university student, and so I spend a lot of time on my computer. One thing that I'm able to do is write down a verse on a sticky note and just place it on the screen of my laptop. That way, every time I go to use my computer, that verse is right there, and I can repeat it to myself a few times. I found that it's really easy to learn something in the morning and then have completely forgotten it by lunchtime. But by repeating something constantly throughout the day, it really helps make it stick a lot better. Yeah. One last tip that I found really helpful is to just use a highlighter when I read my Bible. If I'm reading something and it really jumps out to me, I'll go back and highlight it. And that forces me to reread the verse a second time, which also makes it stick a little bit better in my mind. But one thing that's just really important is to not get discouraged or give up. You know, like I said, memorizing God's word will never be a waste of time. If you set out to learn an entire book of the Bible, or maybe a chapter, or just a passage, and you find that you can only get halfway through it, that's okay. You know, you didn't fail. You now have those verses in your mind and on your heart that you never would have had otherwise, and those verses are there to give you peace, comfort, and hope in whatever situation that you're going through. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so, so talk to me a little bit about... Um, the, like, how does memorizing scripture actually help renew our minds, you know, get us thinking in new ways? Yeah, I think it helps renew our minds in a lot of ways. You know, the Apostle Paul talks in Romans 12 too, that do not conform any longer to the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then he says later in 2 Corinthians, to take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. I think that the process of renewal starts on the inside of us and works its way out. When we study God's word, when we meditate on it, when we memorize it, we're taking captive our thoughts and making, making them obedient to Christ. You know, as we work at memorizing scripture, I believe that the spirit's at work renewing us. I found that it's really easy to, when I'm reading the Bible, just to kind of gloss over the words sometimes and not really pay attention to what they're saying. But if I'm working on memorizing something, it forces me to really stick with a passage and to keep repeating it to myself over and over and over again until it sticks in my mind. And hopefully as I'm doing that, I'm also thinking about the passage, you know, I'm meditating on it and I'm trying to figure out how I can apply it to my life. And you know, one, just, one last thought on that. I did my undergrad 
graduate degree in world religion, and I spent a lot of time studying different cultures and traditions from around the world. One thing that really stuck out to me, which is the whole concept of meditation. In a lot of Eastern religions, meditation is all about emptying your mind of thoughts and about trying to increase the gap between one thought and the next. The biblical concept of meditation is something that's completely different. Joshua 1.8 says to meditate on the word of God day and night so that we'll be careful to do all that it commands. You know, instead of emptying our mind of thoughts, scripture's command is to fill it, but to fill it with thoughts that are glorifying to God, to fill it with scripture, and in the process, our minds are being renewed. Isn't that a great thought? Um, it's really important. So, so how, you know, we've been talking about draw near all the way through this series. So um, how has memorizing Bible passages helped you draw near to God? Mm -hmm. I think that memorizing scripture is one of the most powerful and effective ways of drawing near to God. You know, having his word in my mind and on my heart has helped me through some really dark periods. We know a little bit about who God is because of the, because of the Bible, because of the Bible, because of scripture. And I believe that the more we learn about the Bible, the more we learn about its author, God. You know, I began memorizing scripture a few years ago out of pure desperation. And, you know, I want to be clear that memorizing scripture, memorizing verses, it doesn't make all our problems go away. And five years ago when I started, that's kind of what I was hoping for. You know, what I found instead is that memorizing scripture has given me a hope and a peace that I never knew was possible. And instead of just taking away my mental illness, God, instead, God's given me the strength and the courage that I needed to face it head on and walk through it. And that's something that I continue to do each and every day. That strength and that courage from God, I think, really hits at the heart of what memorizing scripture does for us. It doesn't get rid of our problems, but instead, it renews our mind, it draws us closer to God, and it gives us the tools that we need to face and overcome them. You know, I've been learning how God is just so much bigger and stronger than anything this world can throw at us, and that he's promised us over and over again in his word never to leave us or forsake us. Memorizing scripture has played a really important role in my life in helping me draw near to God, and each day as I continue to work on it, you know, I'm beginning to realize those promises a bit more and more. Yeah, and, and I just really appreciate you sharing and uh, being really honest about sort of things that have gone on in your life and how scripture has helped you in that. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to talk a little bit more about scripture memorization, if you want someone to uh, connect with, you can uh, talk to Nathan. He'll be out in the lobby, too, and uh, just say hi to him. Uh, this is something that has meant a lot to you, uh, but it is so important for all of us. And I think many of us have had the opportunity to memorize scripture. But I think, you know, for us, uh, oftentimes it's difficult to get into prayer. Uh, and, you know, because our minds are starting to go all over the place. And so when we sit down to pray and open up our Bibles and start reading, it's a good way to kind of make that connection and help us draw near to him.